Title, Indiana Bro Gets Slapped with the Swift Hand of Justice, Hello Jail, Goodbye Concerts. TL, DR, an obsessed Swifty from LaPorte County, Indiana, was snatched up by the authorities, charged with stalking and threatening pop icon, Taylor Swift, and fans at her Eras tour. Seriously? Are we out of the woods yet? With this creep factor? Buckle up, folks, we're diving deep into a story that reads like a rejected script for a straight-to-DVD thriller. Mitchell T. Tayabell, 36, a resident of Long Beach, Indiana, got a taste of the swift hand of justice, see what we did there. After he was accused of creeping on tight eye and making not-so-love songs in the form of threats towards her, a security team, and attendees of her Eras tour. The charges against Tayabell are anything but a jingle, he's looking at felony charges of stalking and intimidation, plus misdemeanor counts of invasion of privacy and harassment. Imagine having this guy on your speed dial. According to the authorities, our enthusiastic fan managed to get within breathing distance of Swift not once, but twice, in Nashville. Who's letting this guy in, anyway question mark? They say love is blind, but this is clearly a case of hearing loss. Tayabelle is accused of sending a voice message to Swift's official Instagram account, telling her to enjoy the brain aneurysms and death and referring to himself as the Grim Reaper. Whoa. Whoever said romance was dead? Oh, wait. But how does this tie into us, the digital couch? Potatoes who are following this absurdity from the safety of our screens? The question is, how do we, as fans and observers, react to such unsettling events? Do we allow it to ruin the enjoyment of our favorite pop stars' concerts or change how we engage with them on social media? Is it time to hit the unfollow button on Celebrity Obsession? Sure, T-Swift might have shaken off this freaky episode. Yes, we had too but it opens up a can of worms about the safety of celebrities and fans at concerts. As fans, should we just enjoy the music and stay in our fan zone, or do we have a responsibility to foster a healthier and safer fandom culture? And how do celebrities themselves navigate this fine line between inviting fan adoration and avoiding scary situations like these? Final thought, isn't it high time we started treating celebrities like normal human beings, capable of feeling fear and deserving of respect? instead of treating them like public property. Let's hear it from you, folks. How do you think we should respond to these disturbing incidents, and what steps can be taken to ensure safer fandom spaces? Disclaimer, this article does not provide legal advice or recommend anyone to engage in illegal activities. It is purely an informational piece aimed at raising awareness about fan behavior and its potential consequences.